Okay, we got our silver shot here. It's going to be uh, just short of three troy ounces, but that's how it weighed out. 28.8 uh, .8 on the short one there. I really do love how silver shot looks. I might buy some just to keep. Uh, we got our silicone molds here. They're filled with hot glue. We got brontosaurus and a stegosaurus. So let's get them coated with cornstarch. Brushing off the cornstarch here. Got a really nice coating. I'm a little bit worried about these curves at the bottom, and specifically the gap between his legs. Hopefully it doesn't rip the sand out. But let's get the stego starched. Stego starched up nicely as well. Also has a little leg gap that worries me, but we'll just have to put sand on it and see. All right, got them all packed in. The stego slid down a little close to the edge when I packed it. Uh, hopefully that'll be okay. To get them out, I had the thought of just melting a paper clip into the hot glue and pulling them out, so we'll see how that goes. Ugh, a big chunk ripped out right at the top. The, the actual mold looks really good though. You know, it's, it's I don't think it's actually going to affect the pour. It still looks good. Heat the paper clip back up to get it out. Should just fall right off. Mm, boop. And just pop it into the stego. Okay, so I carved out a little rim all the way around the top to try to stop it from pulling more sand out. I think it'll help. Give it a try. Oh yeah, much better. Wow, that came out really good. I am happy with that. I thought about redoing the sand for the Bronto, but looking at it, it definitely seems like the chunk is above where the silver is going to go. And the actual mold part at the bottom is great, so I think I'm just going to go for it. Really good mold on the Stego. Perfect. All right, let's melt some silver. It seems to be resisting melting. There's a puddle of molten silver on top of solid silver. Might have to pour what's liquid here and then finish melting the rest. It just doesn't seem to be liquefied. So the camera got too hot and turned off, but we got the Bronto here. I was a little nervous about pouring too much and there's a couple of lines big line in the neck there but I like it the back is absolutely beautiful though 
I love the big dip in it. Take a look at the Stego. It looks dirty, but it also came out pretty good. It's got this weird bubble under the eye, but it looks like it's the actual eye, and that bump above is just part of it like it is on his back. It's neat how it has a dot in the middle like it's supposed to be there. Uh, the back is also really pretty, minus the two big borax globs on it. You got the big one here and the smaller one here. But I bought some sulfuric acid and I'm going to see how that works. Doing two in the same mold was okay, but trying to judge half a pour at the same time was probably not a good idea. Should have done them individually. They both came out okay. And we'll see how they clean up. I really like how pretty the backs are. It's gonna be hard to stamp these. We got our diluted sulfuric acid here, approximately 10%, not measured. Just gonna try to clean these up, uh, specifically to get the borax off of the Stegosaurus. But I also wanna see how this whole thing works. So the Bronto is kind of a control. Uh, this puddle's just water. I was just giving them a little rinse. Uh, we'll see what happens.